marks earlier about cultural division. Uh, second test is underway against the West Indies in Brisbane today. What do you make of Cricket Australia's decision to censor the, the mere mention of Australia Day tomorrow at a time when tens of thousands of Australians are turning up uh, with their flags in the green and gold to cheer on the national team in what's regarded as the national pastime? Of course, I should have stayed out of it. And you've seen a big a backflip by uh, Nick Hockley in the last 24 hours. Uh, I, I know Nick well. He's a very decent person, a very good cricket administrator. Uh, but he's not a politician, and he's not there to tell Australians what they think about Australia Day. He's not there to tell people whether they should celebrate it or not celebrate it. Uh, Australia Day means different things to different people. To me, it's a great celebration of the wonderful success story of our country, of our Indigenous heritage. Uh, of our British inheritance and of the migrant story of our country. There are literally millions of Australians, including many cricket followers uh, from the subcontinent who are now Australian citizens, who celebrate the anniversary of their citizenship on the 26th of January. And I just don't believe that this self-loathing and this desire to please people on social media who are in the minority is productive. It's not. Two thirds of Australians support Australia Day. People recognise that we've got a blemished history like every other country, like every other civilisation. But if we want to help Indigenous people, if we want to make sure that we are the best country into the future, we've got to move beyond this. And we've got to make sure that we recognise that Australia Day will be a celebration for some. Those who don't want to celebrate it, that is entirely their right in our country. Do it peacefully. But that's the reality. And for corporates and others to want to enter the space because they think it'll make them popular on social media, well, they think it's what the marketing people want to hear. That was the mistake that uh, Brad Banducci made. Again, a good person. But his job is to bring grocery prices down. His job is not to tell Australians whether they can celebrate Australia Day. And that's uh, my very strong view. And I don't think, again, the Prime Minister's passed the leadership test here. Uh, the Prime Minister is the weakest leader I've seen in two decades. He lies to the Australian public. He doesn't have the guts to stand up and say that he believes in Australia Day. And that's why I think people, including in Dunkley, will mark him down, uh, because he's misled them, he's lied to them, and he doesn't have the strength of character to stand up for our country and to make sure that we've got a great future. Thank you very much.